this week on the Cruising Kiwis. Should we help this boat? So the question is, is this a con? I don't think it's a con. What would they be getting out of it? We take a long walk and the kindness of strangers fills our larder. Wow, he's a thick, quite thick epic man. <laughs> Mr. Thick Man. Hey, hey, hey! about my worries don't worry about my life I'm fine I'm fine don't mind me losing my mind but if I could only spend the night bending time now Cruising is an exercise in trust. Trust in your boat to carry you safely. Trust in your navigation instruments to guide you in the right direction. Trust that the weather forecast is correct. And trust that Rob's next fish curry won't kill you. When we arrive at a new anchorage, we also trust that no harm will come to us. So there's a boat out here that's just been sitting there this morning. And I've just uh, come up on board to say hello and they say their engine just broke down and they're anchored there, they're fishing too while they sit there and they've just asked me if I can take them in through the pass which is no problem I'll go and drop the tender in and go and do it Be careful! <laughs> yeah I know So the question is, is this a con? I don't think it's a con What would they be getting out of it? I don't know, I think they have broken down yeah. but I'm recording this just in case It's a bit odd that they have broken down It is a bit odd, right beside us, but that's kind of the dubious part of the whole story, I guess. I can't see what, well, anyway. Yeah, anyway. Maybe talk so I shall go and uh, report back later. Now I've just had an idea, um, I didn't film this in the early hours this morning, but 2.30 this morning I was up, got into the anchorage at 4.30, 5 o'clock, but on the way I caught two of these. I cut the head off, I'm pretty sure it's Barracuda. I'm going to give one of them to these fishermen, just as a gift, and I'm sure they'll appreciate it. It is legit, totally legit. Rob is towing them back into the shore. Good deed for the day done. So what was their story? Uh, actually I didn't ask them their story. <laughs> they just broke down. Right beside us. Yeah, right beside us, yeah. I didn't inquire. I should have been a bit more investigative, shouldn't I? It's Toko and Kerepe. And so you, you just had to take them into the shore? I just took them in. Did they say, is it, how long is it to get in? They said it's about a kilometre. Oh, is that all? Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. And uh, we can tie onto that other mooring buoy there, because uh, the tide will be too low to get it right across. Oh, okay. And then we can just walk in and... Okay. Um, so, toko and kerepe. <laughs> Gosh, now I feel a bit bad for being suspicious of them. <laughs> it's nice greeting, Declan. Declan just mooned me. Yeah, so shall we get prepared to get into the sunset? Okay. See, see. It's taken us all morning, but we are now ready at 2 o'clock this afternoon to, to go and do Sebu Sebu. We're in a new anchorage, which means we have to go and ask permission. But we're also looking for vegetables. This is our little vegetable um, basket. There's not much in it. <laughs> We've got a skanky old apple from New Zealand. Zealand. Another skanky apple. Also got a little bit of citrus that we've carried all over New Zealand. All... Ooh, okay. Is that an orange? Yep. No, that, that was from a tuku. Was it? Yeah. Well, I might eat that now. Yep. We've been told there are oranges and some rather skanky looking apples on the on the island. I'm okay. hoping that we get some bananas. I'd really, really love some carrots if they have them. Um, Papaya. Obviously we're, we're hoping we can buy some some sort of vegetables, we don't really know. Whatever. But it's time to go in. It's about a kilometre, we've been told, the walk. 
which will probably be more like three kilometres. Yeah. But uh, it's a lovely day. So we've got our glad rags on for the Sebi Sebi. Shoulders are covered, knees are covered. And we're ready to hit the road. Let's do it. I've been walking in a country old. And I've been chasing after my shadow. Nobody asked me my name Maybe my baby will never see me again The one kilometre walk into town turned out to be more like eight. We were lucky to hitch a lift with a passing truck for the last kilometres. Laughing God must really love us The only fresh produce in the village shop were imported oranges. But outside in the back of a ute, in coconut leaf baskets and covered in flies, was a recently slaughtered cow for sale. So we decided to buy some. So we have uh, some, of, some of the local beef that's just been butchered. $5 a kilogram. I think we'll get some for a beef ring dang. Loaded down with beef and oranges, we hitched another ride back to Javelo stopping on the way to accept the hospitality of a gentleman who had offered us vegetables from his garden when we had walked past his house earlier. Carrots, fresh from the ground. Amazing. Pull them out, pull them. Yeah. All right. Look at that. Oh, it's a double banger. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> we're going to have fresh veggies. Oh, my, here's a big one. Right. Oh. Wow, he's a thick, quite thick man. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> Mr. Thick Man. Yeah. Oh my goodness, stuff. wow. That's a huge coriander. Uh, and that guy. a good farmer. <laughs> okay. Right, we better go. Better go. There's our right. horn. We've been summoned back to the car. Back at the beach, the tide had come in. Declan, our dispensable middle child, was selected to swim to the dinghy. Declan is wimping out of swimming to the dinghy. He's cute. He's cute. Let's go about this. Even though we have assured him that nothing could possibly go wrong. Ah. We're supporting him. We're supporting him from the beach. Oh, hurry up. Watch out, they're going to eat you. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, here comes the boat. At last. Hello. Oh. Those guys have just given us a breadfruit. Thank you very much. Can I come a limo? I like that. And all that stuff there, bananas and. After we've just got back from the market, they've just delivered those to us. That's so cool. But that's amazing. That's so nice. Rob gave them a fish this morning. Oh, right. And he gave them a toe. They've broken down and this morning. Fish as well. Yeah, you know, when push comes to shove, I'm just going to say, like, just be brave. You know? And um, no matter what it takes, you can do this. You know? That's what I told myself. It's pretty gnarly. Yeah. Like, I. I forced myself not to breathe before I did the daring challenge of swimming. Out to the dinghy. You know, it was like. Bring it on. Yeah. I don't know how Dicks. to explain it. Okay, enough. <laughs> Thanks for that, Declan. A beautiful salad. We started off the day with some very manky fruit and no vegetables, and now we have a lovely salad. And has to be said, I think we owe this salad to the guys who you towed in this morning because I was a little bit suspicious of them. I actually had slipped below the window line so that they couldn't see me and then called Robert up to deal with Hail. two guys. Hail. Hail! There's two men! But if we hadn't trusted them and they told us to walk into town, even though that was a lot longer than they said it would be, we wouldn't have passed the garden of the guy who grew the vegetables. And lovely vegetables and they are. Yes, coriander and lettuce and the carrots. 
and then and we got, got back to the beach. Oh, and then we got the, back, back to the, the beach, beach, and the two guys who we towed had bought us some fruit as well. So there they you go. They turned up like yeah. with all this fruit and. Um, oh yeah, and with like the pawpaws and. Yeah, yeah. yeah and and so, I guess when the push chips are down, to, push comes to shove, you got to trust those around you. Life's not a story being told, so go get busy growing old. And that's the recipe Living for making love. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Next week on the Cruising Kiwis, we're not racing. Um, it's not a race. Let's be clear about that, it's not a race. We catch a mahi mahi. There are lots of mahi mahi! Look at that! Whoa! Which leads to a fishing fail. If you enjoyed this video, please consider sharing it and give us a thumbs up. It helps us heaps.